Okay, just for uh, the heck of it, I decided to compare an old 80% furnace to a newer 80% furnace and to a 92% uh, efficient furnace. And the way I was going to test these, I'm going to check stack temperature. Now, stack temperature is the temperature of the vent gases as they come out and are going to the outside. Then I subtract the surrounding air temperature and I end up with net stack temperature. So here's the old 80% furnace. I've got 391, we'll call it 392 degrees stack temperature and I'm going to subtract the ambient air temperature. So I end up with 327 degrees net stack temperature on the old 80% furnace. Now let's compare it to the new 80%. Okay, now we're mounted in the new 80% furnace. Uh, it's pretty much average around this 265 degree temperature, and I'm going to subtract the surrounding air temperature from that, and so I get 186. So you can see the stack temperature is quite a bit lower on the uh, new 80% furnace than the uh, old 80% furnace. Now let's go ahead and compare it to the 92% furnace. Okay, now for the 92% furnace, a little different. We've gone to the vent outside and we've taken the temperature of the vent gases and we've got, let's say, 86 degrees. Now I can't take uh, inside ambient for this because this draws outside air for combustion so I'm going to have to just take the ambient temperature of the outside air. So now you can see a considerable difference here. We've got 43 degrees ambient outside and we got 86 degrees vent temperature so we subtract that we got 43 degrees. So the net stack temperature on the 92% furnace is 43 degrees compared to 186 on the uh, newer 80% and 327 to the old 80%. So perhaps now you can see why we use these new type of furnaces. Uh, we are not throwing away anywhere near as much of the heat as we used to throw away. And that's my little comparison of the three efficiency furnaces.